डियर फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार मित्रों वन सकिन आई एम हियर टू शेयर वन मोर लेक्चर विथ यू होपफुली यू पीपल आर एंजॉइंग द लर्निंग एक्सपीरियंस इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ टोटल इंटर रिफ्लैक्शन इन दिस वीडियो lecture i will tell you about refraction through the prism how does the rays refracted through the prism and how is it different from the refraction at glass lid hopefully these days are becoming a good learning venture and experience for you people in the same sequence this lecture will also be beneficial and helpful keep watching keep learning so let us begin with this new lecture so dear students in this lecture we will learn about the refraction through a glass prism now let us consider a glass prism a b c the incident ray p q incidenting at the interface a b since this ray is entering from error to denser medium so it would be refracted so that it bends towards the north now this refracted ray is incidenting on the interface ac this time this ray is traveling from denser to Rather medium, so it will bend away from the corner. Let this point is R, this is S. So P Q is incident ray. Q R is refracted ray. and this rs is emergent ray this is angle of incidence at the first interface and this we will call as angle of incidence here this is angle of refraction at first interface ab this will be angle of incidence for the second interface and this is the angle of refraction for the second interface and this will be equal to angle of emergence also if we produce these two rays that is incident ray and emergent ray and then it is quite interesting to see that these two rays are not parallel they are intersecting at some point and this angle between these two rays is denoted by delta this delta is angle of deviation if you mark these two angles also as angle 1 and angle 
so this is the ray diagram for refraction through a glass prism if you compare this with the glass lip the measured difference between the two refractions is in glass lip both the incident ray and emergent ray were parallel to each other but in case of glass prism these two rays are intersecting and making some angle this is known as angle of deviation now we will establish a relation between these angles for the purpose we will follow the geometry of this diagram if we use angle sum property in triangle q and r then we can write theta r1 plus theta i2 plus angle n is equal to 180 degree in quadrilateral a q and r if we follow the same angle sum property then angle a plus angle a q n plus angle a r n plus angle n is equal to 360 degree you can see angle a q n angle a r n and angle a and angle a the sum of all these four angles is 360 degree out of these four angles angle a q n and angle a r n each of 90 degree here angle a q n is equal to angle a r n is equal to 90 degree therefore angle a plus 90 plus 90 plus angle n is equal to 360 degree which implies angle a plus n is equal to 360 minus 180 so angle a plus angle n is equal to 180 degree now if you replace for angle n so angle n would be equal to 180 minus a if you replace this value in equation 1 then equation 1 will turn out to be theta r1 plus theta i2 plus 180 minus a is equal to 180 it means theta r1 plus theta i2 is equal to angle a let this is equation number <coughs> 2 now we will follow some other angular property that is extra angle sum property in triangle uh, q and dash r so what do we get delta is equal to angle 1 plus angle 2 just see delta is the exterior angle 
and the interior angles are angle 1 and angle 2 so now we have to find out expressions for angle 1 and angle 2 for the purpose we will follow some more geometrical properties and uh, these are very simple if we use uh, vertically opposite angle property then you can see this theta i1 would be equal to sum of angle 1 and angle theta r1 likewise theta r2 would be equal to angle 2 plus theta i2 so from the diagram theta i1 is equal to 1 plus theta r1 which implies angle 1 is equal to theta i1 minus theta r1 similarly we can have theta r2 is equal to angle 2 plus theta i2 which implies angle 2 is equal to theta r2 minus theta i2 replacing in this equation number third then equation third will give us then delta is equal to theta i1 minus theta r1 plus theta r2 minus theta i2 if we simplify this equation we will get delta is equal to theta i1 plus theta r2 minus theta r1 plus theta i2 if we use equation number 2 that is theta r1 plus theta i2 is a then this equation will turn out to be delta is equal to theta i1 plus theta r2 minus angle a so this equation correlates these specific angles in general this theta i1 is the angle of incidence and theta r2 is angle of emergence so this equation turns out to be delta is equal to theta i plus theta e minus angle of prism so angle of division is equal to sum of the two angles angle of incidence angle of emergence and overall difference with the angle of prism thanks dear friends for watching this video hope you will learn few things about the refraction through a prism in the next video or in the next lecture we will discuss about how to find the refractive index of material of the glass prism thank you thank you very much Keep